Greetings, my friends, straight from Canada, where I'm making my uncle a rich man. He, of course, doesn't know. He thinks that I'm just looking after uh, his 20 sheep and 20 cows, but I'm gonna make him a big, big surprise. So last time, if you remember, we uh, started to cultivate uh, this field. On this field, uh, we had uh, barley when we started the game I didn't have uh, the time and the dedication to harvest it all I harvested just uh, partially uh, just because I needed uh, a little bit of straw I didn't care uh, back then about uh, the barley itself uh, but then uh, now I'm uh, loading uh, the straw and at the same time I'm uh, cultivating the field with uh, my main tractor and then after that I will uh, see the grass on it because for the last uh, how many four episodes we've been uh, mowing uh, grass uh, uh, from uh, around the fields which works you know uh, <clears throat> initially but if you're a serious farmer uh, like, uh, like I'm trying to be then you really need a dedicated field for that. Of course, I uh, started uh, this series uh, with just uh, very little equipment. These two uh, small and weak uh, tractors and uh, very few other implements. So it's really hard to, you know, to, to, to start to get going. Usually these maps, these mod maps, comes come with uh, lots of vehicles. Even this map came uh, originally with lots of equipment. But I just don't like to start with lots of equipment because otherwise, what's the point of uh, of uh, you know of playing? Yes, uh, ultimately the point is uh, to enjoy the game, to me, uh, to have fun. Uh, but you have to have like a sense of um, of evolving, you know, a sense of uh, achievement. Yeah. So that was all the straw that we had. Um, you know, if you if you were to compare it with the amounts of straw that we are used to get on my previous season, um, you know, back to the end of it, uh, then yeah, that's not a lot. But considering. Um, that we have only 25 cows, this will suffice us for a couple of in-game weeks, which is great, because this means that we're free of uh, seeding and harvesting any grain. Yeah, now this tractor is so small that it, even with one of the smallest, if not the smallest um, seeder, uh, it cannot keep with it. So uh, I needed to attach uh, that weight in front. I remember in FS 2009, we used to start the game with uh, even an older and smaller tractor, which didn't have even a proper cabin. Then later, after um, Agricultural Simulator introduced its uh, classical farmer with with old equipment um, Giants also created a uh, paid DLC with the classic equipment so um, yeah we we got a lot more um, old tractors without cabins I never actually played with that uh, pack I just tested it uh, made a little too fun of the, of the equipment and that's it. Uh, I know there are series um, on YouTube uh, of uh, guys who actually played with those uh, uh, old equipment. Also, there are mods, just like usual. There are mods with uh, uh, small and old equipment. Now, I'm buying uh, some more ships. Uh, because as I said, um, my main investment now is in ships. They're the easiest animals to get going, but they require lots of initial investment. 
because <clears throat> the output is quite small you know the out output per per capita of ship is quite small so you need uh, mm, at least like two or three hundred ships to to really uh, start to um, make some money I loaded that um, wood chips, not because I intend to <clears throat> sell some more wood in this episode, but because I needed the trailer, which I left at the forestry uh, site. So yeah, I uh, decided to uh, leave for some time this forestry business, because as I mentioned, I consider it a little bit too overpowered. So maybe in the future, if we gonna get into pigs, and I guess we will, then my initial investment into pigs uh, will be sponsored by selling uh, wood boards. <clears throat> but but as, as it is right now, I will continue with my uh, ship investments, because believe it or not, at some point we're gonna make so much money that uh, just selling wool, that we are gonna be able to afford anything and considering that we don't have that much time until uh, FS 19 comes comes up um, I don't think in this series I will uh, go my uh, tier route I basically will not have the time to do it so uh, yeah I, I guess I'll invest just in normal equipment maybe we'll buy into some uh, big bot um, uh, equipment and vehicles which I never actually did and I explain what uh, why uh, previously because when I'm going up in tiers I uh, I should be able to edit uh, the files to edit the, the vehicles the, the equipment but those vehicles that are part of DLCs are in a special um, uh, in a special uh, archive which uh, <clears throat> it's not that hard to to edit and uh, then repack again uh, there are tools I, I found tools that uh, allows you to unpack uh, those uh, those archives but none of none of those tools work to uh, pack them again so to to pack them uh, uh, you know uh, to be able to reuse them so so yeah that's why I never actually used um, any of the big bug uh, equipment this series might be might be the occasion to do it if we we're gonna have uh, time to do it because um, I'm recording this uh, on the 11th of November which means that there's eight or nine days before uh, FS19 uh, comes up and I <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna want to play the FS17 uh, but who knows who knows because for example when FS15 uh, came out um, it actually felt like you know a, a bigger difference between FS13 and 15 than between 15 and 17 to be honest and uh, yeah I think FS17 was for me it was a little bit of disappointment because it didn't really introduce much difference but FS15 uh, was a, a bigger difference you know in terms of uh, graphics and, and such but still I was so you know used to play with different maps and mods then when FS15 came came up I tried it I saw oh cool it looks great and then I, I went back and um, uh, continued to play FS13. Uh, so uh, who knows, uh, we're gonna see. In the meantime, uh, you saw me a couple of seconds ago buying the, these uh, rear mowers for my tractor. 
because uh, of course uh, eventually we're gonna buy that uh, uh, that big M 500 uh, mower uh, but right now of course we don't have the resources to do it so we're gonna continue to mow the grass uh, with the tractors so my plan as usual is to at least for the first time to mow the grass manually well semi manually if you if you take in consideration that I'm using uh, uh, this GPS mod uh, and record the, the mowing course and then I'm gonna use this course to first uh, row the grass and second uh, bale it because I decided to um, sh to buy a, a baler I think I'm gonna buy the uh, the square baler for two reasons um, well the main reason is because it allows a continuous uh, bailing um, I agree that the round bales they usually look, look cooler and nicer but you have to constantly stop to unload the bale um, I don't know if there if there are in oh yeah the, there are mods in uh, FS17 which introduce this uh, continuous round balers uh, but no uh, for the time being I'm, I'm gonna use this uh, square balers and um, then for making uh, silage uh, up until now I was using uh, the fermenter which is built in in the map uh, but I'm gonna I, I guess I'm gonna buy the that uh, uh, bale wrapper which makes uh, silage bales so for now uh, these four passes of or four windrows will be enough in the future uh, that's because it, uh, you know the remaining of grass is still not grown in the future uh, I will extend my um, uh, my course uh, up until the you know all, all the width of uh, of the grass now I just uh, bought this uh, rower which is the cheapest and the smallest one and in all honesty now we don't need a bigger one that's because uh, really we if we recorded the course uh, with course play and it's about nine meter wide then it's you know it's it's normal to use a, a nine about a nine meters wide uh, rower yes in theory I could use uh, a bigger rower but that would require to record another course or to generate a course of course this that's always an option and again I'm gonna go with this New Holland uh, uh, 12 big baler 1290 uh, baler but not the default one from the you know, from the standard game but the, the diable one uh, this one is uh, the same as the normal one uh, with the exception that it can be dyed that's the beauty of it I'm making it red I don't know I just um, I'm used to it being red And as you can see, this tractor can cope with this baler quite easily, although it's taking a uh, some time to uh, speed up. Uh, but I don't know if you noticed earlier, uh, this tractor actually had a little bit of uh, difficulty coping with the mower. It was actually running at 10 or 11 kilometers. So yeah, it's too weak. Uh, for the the mower now I'm exploring the um, the new tractor that I want to buy it's gonna be a fast track uh, 3000 series but I'm not gonna buy the default one I'm gonna buy the modded one which um, is dyeable so just because I want to be able to change the color 
yeah, eventually I will buy a proper bail bailloader. But now, as you can see, I'm quite poor. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this uh, flatbed trailer with uh, auto-loading function. And also, I don't have a proper fork for bales. So you'll see me shortly uh, trying to load the bales with this pallet fork. And to some degree it works, as you can see. Although um, it's harder to, to take two bales, but with one bales you can do it. One thing I just noticed is my usual graphic, which shows the speed, the replaying speed, is missing. But I can tell you it was 750%. So um, my um, Premiere copy some sometimes glitches, and even though I apply this effect, sometimes they just don't want to work. So yeah, I um, used some of my bales to make silage. Uh, thankfully, this um, uh, fermenter um, uh, allows to to feed in uh, bales, which is great. And the rest of the bales uh, will go as uh, food directly for cows and then for uh, for sheep. So yeah, I guess uh, up until to the end of this episode, I will take care of the water needs of my animals. And I'll wrap up this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I should say, of course, thank you <laughs> for watching it. I hope to see you all next time and I wish you all, all a great day. Bye bye.